hi everyone welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to learn how to pass parameter value to python script from pycharm and especially this is very helpful when we wanted to debug something in pycharm if i wanted to execute this script from command line then i can use this syntax it is like python the name of the script and uh, parameter key and its value now in this example we are going to see how to set the parameter value in pycharm i've created a sample code to get uh, some parameter like uh, input 1 input 2 and uh, using uh, parser i'm just going to parse this value then i'm going to print it and then combine these uh, values and return it it's a very simple code now if i wanted to execute this code from terminal what i can do is python and uh, this file name is descriptor underscore example and uh, i have two parameter here though those are input underscore one and value i'll pass as 100 and second is input underscore two and i'll pass it as 10. once i execute you can see it's printing both the value and uh, summation of these two values is 110. Now that's fine. If I'll execute this code directly from PyCharm, I'm getting some error that input 1 is none, input 2 is none. Let's close it. The reason is we are not passing any parameter. So I will click on those three dots and go to edit. And here I have a parameter field. So I'll pass input underscore 1 and its value as 100 then uh, oh let's take 110 then input 2 i will pass as uh, 10 yeah now let's save this or apply this and then i can run it from here but i'll close it and again run from uh, top menu and you can see i'm getting the output here now what i will do is let's uh, set up some uh, breakpoint here so i will keep these two breakpoints and then before printing also i will keep one breakpoint now let's start in debug mode and uh, right now pointer is at uh, first second input that we can see and already it printed the value for first input now it printed the value for uh, second input and finally the final output we can see it's 100 20 so we can see this output and thanks for watching